as mayor, I had the opportunity to work with the county uh, judge and the commissioner's court on a regular basis on a number of different projects, whether it was infrastructure, uh, law enforcement, emergency management, uh, or economic development, uh, you know, any number of, of projects that we got to work on with the county. So that indicated to me uh, something that I wanted to, uh, to keep looking at. And one of the reasons I didn't run uh, for re-election as mayor was because uh, my game plan was to run for county judge, which I did initially back in 2010. Uh, unfortunately, we, while we won the primary, we fell short in the runoff, and uh, that's why we we didn't want to take anything for granted this time out. We, we kept pushing, and, and hopefully uh, the, the voters of Cameron County and the good Lord will give me an opportunity to serve my community again. I, I thoroughly enjoyed being mayor. I know that I'm going to enjoy being county judge, and more than anything, trying to keep uh, a very positive and uh, prosperous growth pattern growing going on in Cameron County and I know I can do that and I'm looking forward to, to that challenge and opportunity. Good. Obviously, is the budget process is already beginning, so we're going to have to dive headfirst into that. Get together with the county management, uh, county department heads, and hear where we are, what, the, what, what our what our schedule, what our timeline, and what the needs, what we're, you know, what our resources are, what we're looking at for this coming year. Secondly, make sure that we get it back in contact with all of the community leaders, both of the large cities and the small communities. One of the constant things I heard on the campaign trail, especially from the smaller communities, that went, and even some of the larger ones, that there seems to have been a disconnect or lack of communication, uh, positive communication between the commissioner's court and the county and the rest of the cities. That's something I think we definitely need to address because we should all be working on the same page and working together in the same direction. And, and lastly, uh, probably making sure that in our emergency preparedness is obviously up to par as we get ready for the hurricane season. Uh, I think those are probably the top three things that we need to address. And more than anything, uh, just you know, roll up our sleeves and get to work.